Well, in efforts to reduce the number of troops in Afghanistan, the U.S. military has increasingly relied on the use of unmanned predator drones. But after 10 years of combat in Afghanistan, is it time to take a second look at our policy of killing Afghan children with missiles shot from terrifying remote control flying robots? Well, for some answers on this, let's see what the first responders have to say. Hello, Duncan, Jason, Nancy. So, first responders, could dropping bombs on Afghans without warning from terrifying robot airplanes that fly themselves actually hurt American? America's efforts to stabilize Afghanistan. I think it's complicated. No, 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 not, not at all. Actually, I think we need to stay the course. You don't change horses midstream, and you don't stop uh, firing well, missiles from unseen death droids uh, soaring high above the clouds just because a couple of schools get blown well, up. Well, you know, I, I, I disagree with that. I mean, accidentally bombing children with our super army of automated missile firing bots may have worked great at the start of the war, but right. conditions true, true. on the ground have changed. I mean, mm -hmm. we have got to find another way to obliterate this population. What about flaming bulldozers or 50 foot tall tanks? Yeah. Because, you know, military experts do credit thundering death upon the hapless heads of Big Daddy farmers, screaming like capricious gods, with turning the whole Iraq war around. Well, okay, so, so maybe using a silent, hovering, uh, genocidal computer is unavoidable at wartime. Perhaps. But let's yeah. do what we can for these civilians. I mean, why not name the drones Billy or Steve to make them seem less dispassionate? Oh, that is a terrible idea. Billy is a horrible name for a drone. And Steve is even worse. Keith? Steve? Nancy well, you know what, uh, some experts have suggested making robots that are more visually reassuring. Uh, this Pentagon report that was released uh, saying that they're now developing a 40-foot robot that actually looks more like an American soldier and also uh, sprays lasers out of his eyes. Well, at least Smart. that's a step forward. Hey, look, as long as it fires missiles and bombs with very little accuracy and zero Americans are at threat, I'm all for it. Good point. They Duncan. should give it funny, floppy arms. Yes. Oh, it should spray uh, candy out of its chest a few minutes before yeah. it starts shooting yeah. everything. You know, Jason, that's oh, actually yeah. a, a really right. nice gesture for the, the children who don't accidentally get uh, mowed down by the bullets. Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, first responders. Excellent debate.